Do you know who invented the first air modern conditioner system? Well, the place to come in China to find out all about the past, present, and the future of this cool invention is this museum in Shanghai. Dr. Willis Carrier is the founder of modern air conditioning. He invented the first modern air conditioning system in 1902. This museum is the extension of the founder's spirit. Heating and cooling demand accounts for around half of global final energy consumption. After China announced it aimed to peak carbon and achieve carbon neutrality, companies in this field of refrigeration have accelerated green and low carbon transformation. Titas explained how his industry has responded. Air conditioning brings comfort to the world, but also causes high energy consumption. 50% of China's overall carbon footprint comes from buildings. It is important to develop the innovative solutions to meet the heating and cooling needs, while enhancing building performance, energy efficiency, and sustainability. China continues to transition from coal to electricity in the northern area. With this effort, Carrier provides more than 260 ultra-low air conditioning air-cooled unit for a project in Shongan District, heating dozens of community covering 300,000 square feet. With the rapid development of IoT, AI, and 5G, data centers are more important than ever. Carrier provides one-stop solution for data center, including high-efficient air cool and water cool chillers, standard and customized air handlers, system controls, software service, and monitoring systems. We have successfully collaborated with one of the largest internet companies in China, ensuring their safe and sustainable op operations. The goal to peak carbon emissions and achieve carbon neutrality is so important, not just for China but also the world. This museum is a testament to how ideas to fully transform polluting industries must be more than just hot air.